Like, mm. I'm, I'm her brother, she's my sister. And it's, she knows how I am and I know how she is. Mm. We don't talk to each other every day, but if I need something, I'll holler her or vice versa kind of thing. Mm. I spoke to her. I spoke to her on the phone sometime last week. And I said, to, obviously now she's got, I've got a little nephew, so I'm going to go down even more. So it's just, African households are mad. But I feel like African households in, for our generation, like when we all start having kids are going to be very different. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. we're in Western civilization as yeah, opposed yeah, yeah, to yeah. Africans coming from Africa to live in England or live yeah, yeah, wherever yeah. you live yeah, yeah, yeah. to bring your children up. So I think this generation of kids is going to be completely different, mm. completely different to what I'm used to or I, what I was used to. Because mm. like when I nowadays, when I go to like other people's houses and stuff, I just notice a difference in the way in a way, th like the day to day life is in term. I can't give an example, but I can just I can just tell. Do you know what I mean? Mm. African houses are just com completely different, completely different. But it's it's just what I'm used to, isn't it? Mm. it is because every time I talk to like an African person, mm. it's always bro, it's always something. It's always something. Like what? it's always not. It's always like a story of yeah. like how I got beat for this. Oh yeah, rags, bro. You tell me I've never been sleepovers. I've never, never been Toys R Us, Us <laughs> bro. I've never been to Toys R Us, and I never will, obviously, because they shut. What do you mean? I've never been to Toys R Us, bro. I know. Toys R Us. I know. That's just it. I know, fam. Never been. But if you're not a child if you haven't been Toys R Us. You just go there. Hmm. I remember my mum would take me there to get something random. Yeah. Like a fucking. I don't even know, just like a Beyblade or some shit. Mm -hmm. And then you'd end up shooting hoops in the fucking basketball hoop that they got there. Mm. You get one of the bikes and start just rocking around on the bikes. Mm. They'll have like a trampoline and you try to get on a trampoline and stuff like that. It's just mm. mad in there, bro. It's yeah, just I'm, sick. I'm, I'm, you missed the fuck out. I know, man. I know I did. Why the fuck didn't they take you to Toys R Us? I don't know, bro. Did they get you toys, fam? I think I'd, I've just had like Playstations and stuff. I didn't have like like toys toys and like uh. I had balls and stuff and playstation but I didn't yeah, have like yeah, toys yeah. To, like to run around in the yard with uh. they weren't about that uh. they ain't got time for a mess like that <laughs> and the thing is I didn't I didn't feel any different that I didn't have it do you know what I mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah because yeah. like I said I didn't have any sleepovers so there was no jealousy involved yeah yeah, that yeah, makes sense. yeah yeah so yeah were you ever like growing up like with when if you ever had friends who like weren't African were you very conscious of the fact that if, if they come around, it's going to be different to what they're used to. Yeah, always. You knew that? Always, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Especially when I was a lot younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when I was in secondary school. Mm. But a lot of my secondary school friends were either Nigerian or African. Mm. So obviously, because that's just a crowd. Well, that's that was just the crowd I was with because of my form and all of that shit. That was just the crowd I was with. Mm. But even like, even like, because my mom came, my mom came here and obviously she met Bella. Mm. But... Now it's totally different because she knows how I am kind of thing. And I had no qualms of her or Bella meeting them two meeting each other because I knew it was going to be chill because my mum my mom loves everyone. Mm -hmm. like, have you even met my mum before? Uh, graduation. Me graduation, yeah. yeah so. But that's, that's the only time. Yeah. yeah, that's the only time I met her. But, but yeah, man. Um, I just, yeah, I just think like all the stories I hear, I just always think like, fuck you now. Yeah. Fuck you now. African households are different, dog. Different, but it builds character from Mm. It, it just it's just built in us that's mm. why i say the our generation like when we start having all africans start having kids now it's going to be so different to what us as teenagers were used to mm. like dramatically dramatically especially like people like me that obviously i adopt my culture but i don't adopt it on day-to-day -day lifestyle because mm. i'm not surrounded by africans or surrounded by nigerians yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and nine times out of ten i'm probably not going to marry a nigerian anyway Mm. So, because you know how I am, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna probably ain't gonna fucking marry in Nigeria anyway. Um, and my mom knows that as well. <laughs> That's so, calm as long as she knows, fam. Yeah, That's so, all right. I've, I've got nothing against them, obviously. Like, I love them. Mm. I am Nigerian, but this is what it is, man. It's what it is. It is, what it is. Bro, it's mad. Because mm. I, just, I just always find it interesting. Obviously, my childhood was so really completely different, different <laughs> fam. <laughs> completely different. My mom's white and it's just bless. <laughs> <laughs> it was just bless. You had it good, good. We had it good, man. Obviously, but mine was Irish, and so my mom used to beat the fuck out of us as well. But it was never like, I'm never gonna have a scar. Like when you tell, I I always thought I got beat in it, mm. and then nah, you didn't get beat, fam. fam. 